Today is a very special day. special day for me, for my mom. Well, this is actually the one and last time my mom's ever gonna be doing this. And today is my maturation. So it's a very special day for both me and my mom. Last night, I kinda woke up at like 6.30 and I was like, I felt sick. Like I just like, I felt nervous. I felt like, oh crap, this is gonna end up weird. <laughs> but, and so I was up reading a lot. Why it is a special day for me and my mom? Well, today is my maturation. And when I very first told my mom, she was like, oh, really? She's gonna go with me. It's gonna be really fun. And every girl in my class was like, it's gonna be so gross. It's gonna be embarrassing. It's gonna be weird. But I'm just like, well, We'll just have to see and find out. <laughs> right now I'm trying to get my hair done and my mom's gonna get the same shoes. These shoes are actually my favorite. My mom has the gray ones, so we're gonna be matching the shoes, matching the clothes, so it'll be really cute. Yes, I accidentally put your robe on, not mine. It's a little small. <laughs> really? Yeah. I thought it was yours. I'm very worried that I took these out of here. I thought it'd be cute. <laughs> this is all of my like makeup and stuff. And That's like so that. Fun. And then this is all of my brushes. So this brush would go in there. And this is all like my toothbrush, my flossers, and then my deodorant. I love it. Okay, so honestly, if you guys are new to getting your kids um, makeup, this <laughs> See, Go Olivia, Colourpop, look, Olivia look. even knows it's the brand. So ColourPop is a very nice makeup brand, but super cheap. Um, and it's the, online, so I'm going to put a link in the description for you guys. They're Olivia's favorite. They're my favorite for Olivia to have. So, And they're very, very affordable. So, Okay, you finish so, up your hair? Yep, since you messed it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is my notebook. I'm sp I'm gonna bring it to middle school, but I'm gonna use it for just this one time. And my friend, she's not able to come. And we talk about this, like what happens in the match. We just talk about it every time at recess. Like it's just every single time. And so she's like, I want you. And we both came up with the, uh, came up with the exact same exact same idea. And to write it down. So if we so if I got anything, I could tell her and just like so I'm gonna write that down and whenever she comes back since she has like lots of dances recitals and much more um next time she comes I'll show her it so <laughs> it's so good and this is what I mean and then I'm bringing my bunny just I like know you are like, my bunny it's just a cute little bunny yeah no this is from Aunt Linda Oh, so. if you haven't seen that video, we'll put it in the description <laughs> for you guys. This is, um, I made a post on Instagram talking about how 10 year olds are kind of stuck with one foot in being big girls and one foot being in little girls. Little girls yeah. yeah, it's kind of a different that's stage. Why, that's why I don't want to grow up. I don't want to stay little. I know, I and I want you to stay little. But it's also really fun to like have you grown up, you know? It's a very in between stage. Sometimes you're happy, sometimes you're cranky. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you're easy to get along with, sometimes you're not. <laughs> but guess what, does that sound familiar? Is that how I am? Sometimes I'm really happy to be around and sometimes yeah. I'm really cranky to be yes. around. So, we'll figure this out, won't we? Today is a very special day. Olivia has been looking forward to today for a very long time. Anyone that will give her the chance to listen about her maturation program. They used to call it maturation video, maturation program. She just calls it maturation. So anyone that will listen, she will talk about it. She wants to know when everyone started. They, she wants to know because she thinks, okay, let me back up. She's been talking about traits at school 
And so she wants to call grandma and she wants to find out when she started. She wants to know when her other grandma started. And then she wants to find out when I started. Then she wants to figure out from that, that information based on like genetics and traits, she wants to guesstimate when she's going to start. Very exciting. I remember the day of my maturation program and I, like her, talked about it with my friends. That's all. That's the only thing we ever talked about. Colby Sherman in my class threw a dirt clod at me and was like, stop talking about it. You're so disgusting. But I was just really, really excited. <laughs> He also said, You'll hey. never grow boobs. You'll always be flat chested. Hmm. Little did he know. <laughs> um, so that's just a little history on my maturation day. Um, I looked forward to it. I loved it. I was so excited. All my little girlfriends were. I don't think boys get near as excited as girls do, which I don't even know why. It would be the greatest thing in the world if we never started. You know what I mean? Per Olivia's request, I am wearing the outfit that she would like me to wear. She wanted to make sure that I was wearing makeup today. <laughs> so I made sure that I was presentable to be in front of her friends, that I was gonna be as cool as maybe they're anticipating me to be. There is one thing that I know Olivia will not approve of, and this is the most mom thing I've ever done. So. <laughs> These are new shoes and they come up around my ankle and I don't want them to rub <laughs> I don't want them to rub my ankles, Ross, so I have tall socks on. <laughs> okay, and the reason this is so funny is because my mom, she <laughs> my mom will have on this like really cute outfit and then she'll like throw on these tennis shoes. Cause she wants her feet to be comfortable. She doesn't care if her shoes like totally go with the outfit. My mom is very stylish, but sometimes she's just like, yeah, I'm throwing on my tennis shoes and we're just like, oh, oh, you, oh, you're wearing, ten you're wearing tennis shoes with that outfit. Yeah, comfort, yes. <laughs> so I'm just kind of laughing at that. I don't think it's that noticeable and I think it's fine. Something I will say, this jacket, I have had it since last season. They still have this jacket and they have it in several different colors. So I'll link that in the description. I will link a very similar pair of pants and then also Olivia and I's matching shoes. So here I come, Olivia. So the very first start of it, um, they pulled up some pictures. <laughs> not, not pretty at all. <laughs> not pretty pictures. Mm -mm. Okay. And it repeated quite a bit yeah they basically said the same thing quite a bit showed the same pictures quite a bit which is fine that was oh, good. quite a bit a lot <laughs> like her okay her class was so cute everyone was i think feeling the same way i really liked the nurse that did the teaching she was super Good, and I asked Olivia, I said, did you learn anything? I think you learned a few things. Uh, a few things, but not mm -hmm. everything. <laughs> yeah, and if anything, um, I think we'll take this opportunity where everyone's already feeling a little awkward and everyone's feeling a little funny about things. A um, little bit. <laughs> yeah, we'll just have a little conversation yeah. between us and we'll be ready. And mm -hmm. I think that today went really good, do you? We talked a lot about hygiene. I wish the nurse would have touched base just a little bit more on hygiene because I think that a lot of young 5th grade, 6th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade, ninth grade kids don't really stay up on the hygiene maybe as good as they should. Yeah, um, I want to show. We should be showering every day. As an adult, I um, you learn your hair type as you get older. I wash my hair every several days. As 
a young child that is going through lots of changes, lots of recess, lots of hormones, I think that it's wise to be washing your hair at least every other day. It would be good. And at because, the end because teens' hair gets stinky and greasy really easy. Mm -hmm. And talk to your parents. Your parents can help you know what's best for you. I think we should be washing hair every other day. Definitely washing our bums and our armpits and our feet and our face every day. And everywhere else. With soap. Rinsing well, drying well, and keeping, keeping and this clean. Was a question, Brushing our teeth morning and night. And this was a question that I've heard on Aunt Allie when we used to watch their videos. Well, we still do. When we watched their videos, I heard when Sherry, she was like, or with Abby when she very first started, she was like, what soap to recommend? I recommend Dove. So, and she's like, she's like, I recommend Dove for acne because it will help get all of that stuff off. You're that's so what cute. that's what Aunt Ruby said. She's like, Dove. I recommend Dove. And so, yeah. And at the <laughs> end, they showed, I do have deodorant. I've kept one in my backpack mm -hmm. and in my house just because for middle school, you want to keep one at least in your locker. And they gave us this like little tiny one. And they gave us this book that has like, that like re-shows what she showed and like what it says. So it's just in there. Mm -hmm. So that was cool. Yeah, it is cool. We've gone bra shopping since like fourth grade. We did that, but like without like any panties. It was just like it was just like a little tank top, just like really tiny. And then this like beginning of the school year, we kind of started we started noticing like kind of more growing changes. more changes. And I kind of noticed myself actually. And I was like, Mom, I don't really feel comfortable with this. Can we go to the store and buy new ones? Which just like a slip of padding, just to like, just to like, cause like help when, make cause it when look you grow, nicer. sometimes there's like a dot, and it, you can kind of see it. And it doesn't look, <laughs> and it just, and it, and it just made me feel kind of uncomfortable. So we've done that. And over the years, I really don't know what happens. We've but like lost. We've few. like, <laughs> I, I was like, Mom, look in your bra drawer. I think you have some of mine. <laughs> And I don't want you wearing them because I know you could not fit in that. I am not so I was bra. like, I so I was like, I think maybe we need to go. So we're gonna go into town and we're gonna get a new bra. Yeah.